All right, guys, I put this together because I found it hard to find the information to change the cluster lights for the turn signal, oil, neutral, and high beam on the Suzuki GS500F. Um, this isn't a detailed tear it apart instruction step by step because it's a very simple process to do. I gave you the idea on how to do it and what you need to do, but I didn't uh, walk you baby steps through it. But uh, everything that you need to know will be in the video, so check it out. Okay, I'm going to show you this during the day. Check this out. There we go. Key gets a little stuck. That's how bright they are. Now look at the high beam light. That's the original bulb. I left the original bulb in there. So that way when you're driving at night, you're not blinded by a very bright light. I also put LEDs in the speedometer and tachometer. But that's a little harder to see during the day right now. I mean, it's bright. There you go, you can see. Yeah, it's shut off, on, off. It's a little hard to see during the day, but at a light up at night, I don't need those too bright while driving at night either, or during the day, because you can see it just fine. This is with <clears throat> the cluster taken apart. Those are the bulbs there for your indicators, turn signal, oil, high beam, neutral. It's a T5 bulb that goes in there. Behind here is your T10 at the inside of the tachometer and speedometer. There. You okay, got this piece there. Okay, now this that's a T10 bulb as well. This is what I did to the bike. Took all the plastics off after my son crashed it. I cut everything down. Took all the subframe for the fairings off. And there you go. That's what it looks like now. To pull out the little bulbs in these holes I took a pair of needle nose and put some black tape on the end to cushion it up as I reach in there and pull out that bulb I didn't show the tape down of the parts but essentially you're gonna take out the bolt under this and the bolt under this they're found there and there you can't really see it hold on let me put the I can't put the flash on but you got four bolts to take off 10 millimeter right there and then there's three screws one under here one under there one under there this is a speedometer cable it comes right out you just unscrew that pull it out you're done it's 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 real simple so you don't you don't need instructions on how to pull this out all right you, you, you can figure it out four nuts three screws and it all comes apart and these are your two bolts to go on there okay this is key to this video because it's almost impossible to find the information out there on the internet this is the bulb that goes in the cluster all right, it's a T5 wedge size bulb. This is what I replaced it with. Okay, the other key is to make sure that you get a non-polarity LED. All right, this is what I ordered here. That's the non-polarity one. The reason you do that is for the turn signal. The turn signal switches polarities between left and right lights, left and right turn signals. If you don't get non-polarity, it will only flash for either right or left.
not both. So make sure you get a non-polarity bulb. This is the one I originally ordered. This, this had a polarity. Great deal. They were bright. They worked good. But they didn't work with the turn signal. All right. So this one here, this is the part I got. All right. That's what you want. All right there. They worked great. Four bulbs for $5.59. And they shine right from the top. One LED. All right. Now, just in case you're interested, the other one I got, this is the T10 bulb, all right? This is the one I replaced in the front headlight, not the actual H4 headlight, but the little parking light below that. It's really bright, works great. I also put in my driving lights on the car because it's a pack of 10 for six bucks. You can't go wrong. They work really well. And what's nice with both the bulbs I got, they fit really good, nice and tight, nice and snug, no worry about it shaking loose. And just for you people that like to ride in the cold, you might want to pick yourself a pair of these up. Wrangler Authentic Fleeced Line Pants. I know this has nothing to do with fixing your motorcycle, but let me tell you something. It blows away wearing any kind of thermals underneath your jeans super warm blocks most of the wind it's just you know it's great give them a try guarantee you'll be satisfied well that's it i hope you enjoyed it uh, any questions or comments uh, let me know i really don't do anything on youtube but i figured i'd put this out there since it was difficult to find and uh Basically, if, if I had a hard time finding it, it's hard to find. All right, so I hope it helped you. Good luck, be safe, peace.